I myself, as an immigrant, really experienced that in betweenness of the cultures. And that feeling of not quite being here or there becomes more prevalent. My name is Sohaila Espahani. I am a visual artist and an assistant professor at Western University. This particular installation is 114 shipping pallets that are all numbered. So we're dealing with a giant 3D puzzle that needs to be sort of solved and put together. It was going to be installed in the middle of a permanent collection of art objects that are centuries old. So it was quite challenging to think that we have to get something done within like eight hours. They're gonna be positioned in a different way. Once you have 114 pallets in the middle of the gallery, it's not easy to undo that. I grew up in Iran and moved to Canada in 1992, so over 30 years. I got married when I was in first year university and my husband wanted to study at University of Waterloo. So we decided to come here so he can pursue his studies. And I was also thinking that I would pursue my study too. I was very interested in Rumi's poems, so I had made a plexiglass box with the text engraved on the box. So for that critique day, I needed this box to be on some kind of a display or platform. One of my friends said, why don't you use the pallets that are outside of the building? So I went and grabbed the pallet and put the sculpture on top of the shipping pallet. And during that critique, we only talked about the shipping pallet. The shipping pallet became that object of translation because it's an object that's in transit and it brings goods from one point to the next. I started looking into the etymology of the word translation, which means to carry across. And that idea of being a migrant and moving I shifted that piece more in mm -hmm. because of the gap. So when you look down, you see more of the design on that piece. So this door has been my inspiration. I replicated the geometric design exactly on my piece. I bring highly cultural motifs from my own background into the palettes and use various techniques from laser etching to stenciling and decorate these pallets and usually in large stacks of pallets. Usually it's at least 20, 30, 40 pallets that I work on. And once I put the designs on, the pallets are displayed as an art installation. And then once the exhibition is over, I give the pallets back to the pallet company so they can be used as the shipping object. Part of the idea of cultural translation comes from how migrants live. So that idea of always living in an in-between space and never belonging to here or there is part of the story of these palettes. Within the cultural translation theories, that space is called a third space, the space of negotiations. It is a challenging space because negotiating culture, it's not an easy thing. But what comes out of this kind of a negotiation is hybridity. 
And what does it mean to be culturally hybrid? It's not the same as a, a car running or gas or electricity. Is something new coming from these two, two other things. And that newness is the act of cultural translation. I want people to start thinking about culture as something that it's not dead in a museum, but something that is very thriving in today's society. Nobody can claim something as only theirs. <laughs> We are bigger than that. We are connected more than that. Take a good selfie. Aww.